What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new Pokemon Go news alert. Today we're going to be talking about quite a few things with Pokemon Go. There are plenty of things that have come out since my last video, which was over a week ago. Again, very, very sorry about that. I do have a reason I'd like to just explain really quick before we get into today's news. So if you didn't know, last weekend I went to Rock on the Range, which is an annual rock music festival up in Columbus, Ohio. It's a fantastic time. Definitely recommend it if any of you guys ever get a chance to go to it. It's great. The people are great. The band are great the food is pretty good too and overall it's a fantastic experience but the thing is is I got pretty sunburnt and I got some sun poisoning and then I got sick along with the sun poisoning and it just wasn't a great time recovering from it just so you guys know the videos on rock and the range are gonna be out in the very near future I'm gonna be doing like a yearly review thing and then every time I go to a pretty big concert or something I'm gonna be doing a quick like vlog sort of style thing for each one of those. I hope that I can make that a mainstay on the channel. Hope you guys are going to be interested in that. But basically, that's why I haven't been on lately. I haven't really been able to make a video because my throat's been really screwed up and I haven't been able to talk. But it actually just stopped hurting out of the blue this morning. So I'm doing kind of okay now. Even though I'm still sort of loopy, my head's sort of, sort of still messed up. But um, I still can record a video now, which is why I'm doing this. So we are going to be talking about a few things today, mainly that the US beta has begun, I didn't get in, Atlas didn't get in, a lot of other content creators that I know didn't get in. I don't actually know of a content creator that got in, so that's kind of disappointing, honestly. We could have seen a lot come out of that sort of situation, but we aren't going to be able to just yet. It was a very, very small beta at the most conservative estimates are like 2,000 or so, so we probably have less than 1500 people on iOS and 1500 people on Android that got in in the US so this was a little weird with the content they're actually trying to test right now I don't understand why it wouldn't be a mass beta test at this point considering that they're trying to test player to player interaction they're going to be releasing it in regions where they're going to have a lot of interaction the thing is is that having 3,000 people at the most conservative estimates around the entire nation of the USA it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because everyone's going to be spread out. It's not like everyone's going to be in one city or a few cities or even a few states. There's going to be people all over and we're probably not going to see much interaction between beta testers unless they're actually actively trying to find each other. So honestly, I really don't know where we're going to go from that. That really confused me overall. I thought it was going to be an absolutely massive test and that a lot of people were going to get into this newest field test. but. It really wasn't like that, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So the most recent update actually came out not too long ago as well. I just haven't been able to actually talk about it. So now that I can, I just want to discuss it really quick. There isn't a whole lot to talk about, nothing too substantial, other than an age gate introduced into the app, which means that we're probably going to have a lot more interaction with people and individual players and teams than we really expected beforehand. Honestly, that's really it. The age gate and the fact that we're going to be interacting with people more than we might have thought is really all that came out of that update other than just numerous optimizations and an obvious focus on player to player interaction. Possibly the most notable thing to come out of this week is that some people in Japan leveled up a gym all the way to level 30. That is fantastic. It is apparently the maximum level you can have on a gym. It means that you can deposit 21 Pokemon into the gym, which is absolute insanity. I can't believe that. I thought it was going to cap at 6, but apparently not. That's going to be insane though. Honestly, I don't have many thoughts as far as that goes. I'm sort of just interested to see exactly how combat's going to hold up because 21 Pokemon versus a 6 Pokemon team that you have yourself is probably going to mean that you're going to have to have multiple people attacking at once to weaken the gym's prestige so you can eventually take it over. I definitely love the idea. I think it's awesome that there are going to be massive armies of Pokemon at these gyms. I just don't know exactly how combat's going to work with it. Eventually we are going to see that, I'm sure, but right now it's sort of up in the air. Next up in the news, we do have the fact that Rattata is apparently extremely common, which is again very, very promising for the way that the game is going to go for the longevity of the game into the future, meaning that we're probably not going to see a lot of people catching every single Pokemon for a very, very long time. See, you probably don't quite understand the extent to which Rattata is an invasive 
invasive species at this point. So I'll just tell you, 25% of all interactions with wild Pokemon that people are having are actually Rattata. That means that every single encounter, one out of four of them is going to be a Rattata, which is just crazy. I really, really like the idea, but it's just insane that there are so many Rattata. It also looks like some Pokemon are going to be extremely difficult to find in relation to other Pokemon. We see now that Venusaur is actually nowhere to be seen. No one's actually caught a Venusaur at this point in time. We've seen that Blastoise and Charizard are also extremely rare and hard to find. But Venusaur has literally not been found at this point in time, which is kind of cool. I, again, like it for the longevity of the game and think that overall having extremely difficult to find and catch Pokemon is going to mean that when you come across someone that has those rare Pokemon and maybe wants to trade them, they'll have an inherent value to them and it'll be kind of like a trophy. It'll be kind of cool that you have like a really rare Pokemon with you. So what's next for Pokemon Go beta? I definitely don't know. I think that there's probably going to be a mass beta test of sorts just to test the trading system, the battling system, maybe other players to player interaction systems like a pvp system for example or something similar i'm not sure again i don't know this for a fact it's all speculation at this point but i do think that a mass beta test is going to be necessary if they want to test every single bit of every trade that they could possibly have every player to player interaction that they could have with every single device to make sure it all works okay Honestly, I think it's going to be a mass beta test up next very, very, very shortly. I also think there's going to be an accelerated rate of testing as the actual main release continues to get closer and closer. I do think that overall they've been testing things way faster than they did in Ingress, and that's probably due in part to the investments they've had into Pokemon Go, but also due to the experiences they've had with Ingress, which means that overall there are going to be things that they need to test with Pokemon Go, but there are going to be things things that also work extremely well and are very streamlined already because they've had experience from ingress with it but guys that is gonna be about it for this episode hope you have a fantastic day and i hope to see you back here for the next pokemon go news alert till then peace